The recent explosion of Starship during SpaceX's latest flight serves as a stark reminder of just how challenging it is to launch a rocket into orbit. What missteps contributed to Starship's failure during this mission? What steps must SpaceX take to ensure the world's largest rocket achieves orbital success? Let's explore these questions and more on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Alongside the remarkable milestones SpaceX has achieved, such as successfully catching the Super Heavy booster for the second time, accelerating post-flight operations, and reusing Raptor engines, the shortcomings that led to the catastrophic failure of Ship 33 cannot be overlooked. Ship 33's journey began with an impeccable liftoff powered by its robust Super Heavy booster. The rocket ascended smoothly through the atmosphere, with its engines performing as expected. As it neared the critical stage separation point, the process was executed flawlessly, showcasing the precision engineering of SpaceX's system. Ship 33 detached from the booster and transitioned into its orbital burn phase, with the spacecraft's engines reigniting successfully. This milestone underscored the reliability of SpaceX's stage separation system, a critical component of orbital operations. However, trouble emerged shortly after separation. Several of Ship 33's engines shut down unexpectedly, signaling possible anomalies in the propulsion system. Despite these challenges, the spacecraft maintained its trajectory for a brief period before additional complications ultimately led to mission failure. SpaceX and Elon Musk quickly launched an investigation to determine the root cause of the failure. Musk revealed on social media that the primary issue was an oxygen and methane leak in the cavity above the ship's engine firewall, which caused a pressure buildup beyond the venting capacity. This uncontrolled pressure led to a structural rupture, resulting in the rapid disassembly of Ship 33. While disappointing, the incident provided crucial insights into vulnerabilities in the spacecraft's design that had not been fully tested under real-world conditions. To address these issues, SpaceX announced several design changes. Enhanced fire suppression systems were introduced to mitigate risks from leaks near critical components. Additional improvements were made to the vehicle's venting mechanisms to ensure any pressure buildup could be safely and efficiently released, preventing similar structural failures. Musk also confirmed that future upgrades to the Starship program would incorporate Raptor V3 engines designed to eliminate the need for components like the fire shield that contributed to the failure. However, the current V2 spacecraft has yet to be equipped with these next-generation engines, leaving this enhancement for future flights. Super Heavy, while achieving its primary objective, also faced challenges during its return. After stage separation, B-14 ignited 13 central engines to initiate its return trajectory. However, one engine failed to reignite during the boost back burn. Analysis suggests the issue may have been due to the flight computer proactively shutting down the engine after detecting abnormal parameters rather than a mechanical failure. Remarkably, the engine performed flawlessly during the landing burn, demonstrating SpaceX's precision in addressing in-flight anomalies. The booster executed a controlled descent, transitioning from multiple engines to three for the final approach. In a stunning display of engineering, it decelerated before the catching arms of Mechazilla embraced it securely. This achievement reinforced that the successful catch of B-12 was no fluke. SpaceX has mastered this highly complex maneuver. The lessons from Ship 33's partial success and failure serve as a foundation for future improvements. Despite the setbacks, SpaceX accomplished significant objectives during this flight. Musk summarized the results, noting that while the booster achieved 100% success, Starship fulfilled about 25% of its goals. These included testing the forward flap design, demonstrating higher thrust engines, and improving heat shield tile adherence during ascent. Combined, these achievements represent over 60% of the flight's objectives, a significant step forward. Looking ahead, Flight 8 will likely focus on completing the remaining objectives. While Flight 9 may attempt the ambitious goal of catching Starship itself, However, regulatory hurdles must be addressed first. The Federal Aviation Administration has ordered SpaceX to conduct a formal mishap investigation into Ship 33's failure. According to the FAA, there are no reports of public injuries, but there have been claims of debris-related damage on Turks and Caicos. The investigation will be critical for identifying corrective actions and ensuring future flights meet safety and performance standards. While the challenges facing SpaceX are significant, the company's rapid pace of innovation and commitment to learning from failures position them as a leader in aerospace advancements. Each test flight builds upon previous knowledge, bringing the vision of fully reusable rockets and routine spaceflight closer to reality. 
The achievements and setbacks of Ship 33 illustrate the complexities of this endeavor, but they also highlight SpaceX's resilience and determination to overcome obstacles. As SpaceX continues to refine its systems and implement upgrades, the world watches with anticipation. The potential of Starship to revolutionize space travel and expand humanity's reach into the cosmos remains as promising as ever. With lessons learned and challenges tackled, the path to orbital success and beyond grows ever clearer. Now you might be wondering, when can we expect the next Starship launch? Musk hinted at a potential timeline in a recent tweet, stating, probably solved in next month's launch. This suggests Flight 8 could occur as early as February, assuming SpaceX resolves the technical and regulatory challenges. Given SpaceX's rapid development pace and the FAA's improved efficiency, this timeline seems achievable. Since Flight 8's objectives are unlikely to deviate significantly from the current mission plan, it may not require amendments to existing permits, further streamlining the path to launch. Hardware preparations for the mission are already underway, setting the stage for another significant milestone in Starship's development. Several upgrades will be essential for ensuring Flight 8's success. First, SpaceX must address hardware issues from the previous flight, such as the damage sustained by Starship during re-entry. Reinforcing the vehicle's structure will enhance its durability and reliability in future missions. The fuel leaks that caused pressurization issues and engine shutdowns in the last flight must also be resolved to ensure stable performance during ascent and re-entry. The heat flaps, which suffered burn damage, require upgrades to improve their thermal resistance and navigation capabilities. These flaps play a critical role during re-entry, helping stabilize the spacecraft as it navigates through intense atmospheric pressure. Strengthening their design will ensure they can withstand the extreme conditions of future missions. The heat shield remains one of the most pressing challenges for SpaceX. Musk has called it the biggest remaining technical challenge for Starship. Achieving full reusability for the heat shield is essential for meeting SpaceX's ambitious goal of conducting multiple Starship launches per day. During recent test flights, the spacecraft experienced temperatures as high as 2600 degrees Fahrenheit or 1430 degrees Celsius during re-entry. Some heat shield tiles detached under these conditions, exposing vulnerabilities in the system. To address this, SpaceX engineers have made significant changes to Starship 33, including removing tiles in certain areas to stress test vulnerable components. Edges where the ceramic heat shield meets the stainless steel hull have been smoothed and tapered to eliminate hot spots, observed during prior flights. These refinements aim to improve the heat shield's robustness and reliability. SpaceX has also begun testing multiple metallic tile options, including some with active cooling systems as alternative materials for protecting Starship during re-entry. Additionally, rudimentary attachment accessories on Starship have been replaced to evaluate their thermal performance, ensuring all components are optimized for extreme conditions. Flight 7 aimed to push the spacecraft's structural limits by following a more challenging descent trajectory, exposing the redesigned flaps to maximum dynamic pressure. Unfortunately, Ship 33 did not complete this objective due to an early termination. These tests will likely be deferred to Ship 34 during Flight 8, providing another opportunity to gather valuable data on Starship's performance. In addition to resolving issues with the spacecraft, SpaceX must also refine the satellite deployment mechanism. This system is crucial for ensuring successful payload deployment in future missions, and its functionality will likely be tested during Flight 8. Super Heavy and the Chopstick Catching Mechanism also require further attention. While the catching mechanism has proven successful with Super Heavy, maintaining its reliability for routine operations is critical. Eventually, SpaceX aims to use this system to catch the Starship spacecraft itself, a key step toward achieving full reusability. If Flight 8 succeeds in February, Flight 9 could follow as early as March, potentially focusing on catching Starship after re-entry. This milestone would mark a pivotal moment in SpaceX's journey to cost-effective space exploration. The sight of Starship being caught by the chopstick arms would symbolize a new era in aerospace technology, much like the successful landings of Falcon 9 boosters revolutionized the industry. Reaching orbit remains an indispensable goal for Starship's development. Achieving this would demonstrate the spacecraft's ability to complete a full mission cycle, including ascent, payload deployment, and re-entry. Once orbit is achieved, SpaceX can begin refining Starship's systems for commercial missions, scientific exploration, and eventual crewed flights. The path to full operational capability is not without challenges, but SpaceX's iterative development approach positions the company well for success. By rapidly identifying and addressing issues, incorporating lessons learned into each new prototype, and maintaining an aggressive launch cadence, 
SpaceX continues to push the boundaries of what is possible in space exploration. In the end, Flight 8 represents a critical step forward for Starship, with necessary upgrades to the heat shield, flaps, fuel systems, and satellite deployment mechanism, as ongoing refinements to Super Heavy and the catching system. SpaceX is poised to make significant progress in the coming months. If the company can maintain its momentum, the dream of routine, cost-effective space travel will become increasingly tangible, bringing humanity closer to a future where interplanetary exploration is a reality. When Starship achieves orbit and becomes fully reusable, it will revolutionize the space industry, unlocking a myriad of opportunities in exploration, commerce, and technology. Achieving orbit is a critical milestone that will pave the way for Starship to serve as a versatile, cost-effective asset with applications spanning civilian, commercial, and even military domains. One of the most profound impacts of Starship is its ability to drastically reduce launch costs. This cost reduction will make space activities more accessible, enabling initiatives that were previously deemed technologically or financially unfeasible. For instance, military applications may include the deployment of surveillance and communication satellites in greater numbers at a reduced cost, or even the rapid delivery of substantial payloads across the globe via suborbital flights. In the civilian and commercial sectors, SpaceX's vision for in-orbit refueling will allow a single Starship mission to deliver up to 100 metric tons or transport 100 passengers to destinations like the Moon, Mars, or beyond. The economic implications of such capability are enormous. By comparison, even SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, which has already driven launch costs down significantly, only recovers its first stage. Despite this, it has reduced launch costs to $2,720 per kilogram, a dramatic improvement over NASA's space shuttle, which charged $25,000 per kilogram. Starship's fully reusable design promises an even greater leap. With no hardware lost per flight, SpaceX estimates launch costs for future Starship iterations at just $10 million or less per launch, potentially dropping as low as $2 to $3 million over time. This translates to an astonishing $100 to $200 per kilo making Starship far more economical than NASA's space launch system, which costs $4 billion per launch initially, and $2.5 billion per launch at best. Additionally, the SLS can only support one launch annually, compared to Starship's potential for weekly or even daily launches. Starship's payload capacity further enhances its utility. It can deploy a large satellite constellation like Starlink or carry massive payloads up to 200 metric tons in future versions into orbit. This capability enables rapid deployment of mega constellations, support for space-based manufacturing, and delivery of scientific instruments for deep space exploration. SpaceX is scaling up its production and launch capabilities to meet these ambitious goals. At its Boca Chica site, SpaceX is developing the Star Factory, an assembly line designed to produce a Starship per week, up from the current production rate of three per year. With additional launch sites at Cape Canaveral and Boca Chica, SpaceX could achieve a launch cadence exceeding the current Falcon 9 rate of one launch every 2.7 days, ultimately supporting an unprecedented level of space activity. Low-cost, high-frequency launch capability has far-reaching implications. It opens the door to new space-based ventures, especially when combined with in-orbit refueling. For example, Starship will play a central role in NASA's Artemis program, facilitating human missions to the moon and eventually Mars. SpaceX is already developing a specialized lunar Starship variant for this purpose. Musk has proposed launching uncrewed Starships to Mars by 2026 and crewed missions by 2028, with the long-term goal of establishing a permanent human settlement on the Martian surface. While Mars colonization captures the imagination, Starship's contributions to lunar exploration and resource utilization could be even more transformative in the near term. A permanent human presence on the moon could lay the groundwork for an in-space economy, leveraging lunar resources to support manufacturing and exploration. The moon's south pole, believed to hold substantial ice deposits, offers a valuable resource for sustaining human bases and producing rocket fuel for launches from its low-gravity environment. By enabling resource extraction and refueling on the moon, Starship could turn the lunar surface into a springboard for deeper solar system exploration.
The establishment of a lunar base and the utilization of its resources would catalyze the next wave of human space activities. These could include constructing large space-based solar power satellites to address Earth's energy challenges, developing commercial space platforms to succeed the International Space Station, and advancing robotic space manufacturing using lunar materials and 3D printing. Such initiatives could drive technological innovation and economic growth well into the 2030s and 2040s. Starship's unique capabilities also align with broader goals for sustainable and scalable space operations. Its reusability and cost-effectiveness will democratize access to space, fostering innovation across industries and nations. Moreover, the rapid evolution of Starship's design and functionality reflects SpaceX's iterative development philosophy, enabling the company to address challenges swiftly and refine the spacecraft for increasingly ambitious missions. Indeed, achieving orbit and full reusability with Starship will mark the dawn of a new era in space exploration and utilization. Its ability to lower costs, increase payload capacity, and support a high launch cadence will redefine the economics of space activities. From enabling a human return to the moon, to supporting Martian colonization, building an in-space economy, and addressing Earth's energy needs through space-based solutions, Starship represents a transformative leap forward. The possibilities it unlocks will not only expand humanity's reach across the cosmos, but also enhance life on Earth through the advancements and opportunities it makes possible. Speaking of, that's all for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed today's content, be sure to let us know by liking the video. If you want to stay up to date on the latest happenings in the industry, subscribe to the channel. Much like how the endless possibilities and potential of SpaceX's Starship will eventually enrich our entire species, your small acts go a long way for us. Again, thank you for tuning in, and we hope to see you next time.